Hello guys. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, I think in the last class we had discussed about uh, snooping catch coherence protocol. Uh, I will post two more video videos related to the problems in third unit. So one is uh, with respect to snooping and the other one is with respect to directly based protocol. So hope you know the exam pattern. Uh, and since you are going to write uh, uh, like online mode, so the question will not be direct and almost right. Uh, you can expect problem based uh, questions from our subjects. Okay. Um, except fourth unit, because when, when you go with fourth unit, that is completely theory based. Um, the remaining three units, so hope. Uh, you know, right? The assignment questions. Uh, just this is common for all the sessions. I'm saying uh, the assignment questions. Uh, whatever we uh, solved uh, are the CAA during CAA also uh, some descriptive questions we gave. So uh, try to practice similar kind of questions. So you will get problem based on those things. So if, uh, once you have been thorough, so probably right, you can able to uh, clear the test very nicely. So try to concentrate on those kind of problems. Okay, and the uh, other thing is uh, actually we planned uh, in such a way. Um, uh, I think uh, hope all the staff members have completed till memory consistency. I think the second first half of the third unit. So uh, when you go with the second second half, rectus level parallelism, it is all about the theory. Uh, so, um, uh, that uh, vegetation vegetation is already recorded a video regarding that. We will post that video. So, you just kindly go through. If you have any doubt, you can uh, you can get back to us. And similarly, uh, the other topic from unit three, sorry, unit four, can advance to catch optimization. So, that video is taken by me. So, I will post that video also. You just kindly go through those videos. Okay, uh, the next next week, uh, I mean, you look on to these videos, and if you have any problem, uh, kindly get back to me. Okay, um, uh, uh, from these things, I mean, all those videos will be shared among all the sections of from in uh, School of Computing. Um, so whatever the doubts you have, oh, you can ask us. Okay. But uh, when you go with the third unit, uh, you will get a problems uh, uh, based on these things. Uh, one is the snooping, another one is the directive based protocols. So on the day uh, we have discussed the snooping protocol. Uh, in that, right? Uh, I mean, um, I mean, we solved the problem, but one problem we have faced with is this one. Where to place the block? Suppose if you want to replace, where the block has to get replaced. So for that, right, what I'm saying is, uh, you don't confuse with any sort of algorithms. Here, the memory will be given as it is. So what we can take is, this input will also be given. Every processor, how many blocks can be located? So like four, four, or two, or something they will give. So what, I mean, in this case, we have four blocks. So what we can do is we take like this. 100 will be in block 0. 108 will be in block 1. 110 will be in block 2. 180 will be in block 3. So 120 will be in again block 0 because only four blocks we have. So 128 will be in block 1 and 130 will be in block 2, so on and so. If you check also, the similar thing will be there. See? 100 will be in block 1. So 108. So when you take 108, sorry, 100 will be in block 0. 108 will be in block 1. And 110 will be in block 2. Then 118 is in block 3. So this way they have taken. And if we take 128, see 128 is in block 1. So here, right, if we check 128 is in block 1. Got it. So we can take in this order. It don't confuse with the remaining like cache replacement policies. We don't want that now. Uh, we will uh, go in these things and accordingly we will try to replace. On that day, uh, to replace the block 130, we have chosen the block 3. But according to this scenario, you, we will try to replace with the block 2. Don't go for block 3. 
you just block two and you replace okay because when you replace uh, so many things because block two is in modified state now that has to be written back and all those things has to be done okay so be careful uh, but this is the way to replace it okay so now we will go for another problem. We'll take the same kind of scenario, but the thing is a little bit uh, here. We have we need to calculate the number of stalls just to perform any operations. How many number of stalls will be required? And here they are given. So here they are taking two set of implementations, um, and these are the parameters. These parameters says is when it is n memory. Suppose if the block is going to be satisfied by the memory. In that is right it takes 100 stars if it is satisfied by cash when it is by cash means uh say suppose uh these things are like this suppose p naught is expecting 128 that it will take this p naught is expecting 128 and 128 is in modified state in p1 so listen carefully when any address is in modified state in some process if a request comes for that doc only that particular processor will respond to that request when it is in shared mode all will be done through memory keep remembering only if it is modified if any processor uh, is in modified okay that corresponding processor cache has to satisfy if it is in shared state only memory has to satisfy so this is very important so this is what it is so when it is in modified if any process is requesting the cache p1 cache has to satisfy this so for that case it takes 40 cycles next invalidate you know right when when some Thing is going to get written newly whichever the processor that is sharing the block has to be invalidated so in that case right uh, it takes 15 and next is right back so the same thing see modified 120 is requesting by the p naught so what it does it will send the data and then it will goes to the shared state since everything in shared state, immediately the memory has to be updated. So memory has to be updated. So for that, it takes 10 stars. Clear? Yeah. <coughs> this one. Clear? Yeah. I mean, the, uh, this parameter turns about this. Now, right, we will take this operation. This is the sequence of operation. Dependence, OK? So for this, how many stars is required? So we will see that. First, P1 read 110. It checks 110, yes. When you take P, oh, sorry, P1, okay. P1 reads 110. 110 is in invalid state. So here it is in invalid. What is there? So definitely, right, it is going to be a read miss. Clear. But the, it is modified in P0. So this is going to be satisfied by P naught cash because it is modified in P naught. So this is going to be satisfied by the P naught. So what it does, it will send the data to this and parallel what it will do, since it is going to be in the shared mode, the memory is also going to, in the memory, we need to write back the data. So a write back will also be happen. So how many cycles? Since it is satisfied by cash, it is 40. And since write back, we need 10. So we have 50 stars. Next, P3. When you take P3, this is going to be a read miss. Because in P3 also, what it is in invalid state. So this is uh, invalid. Now, as I said, this is uh, dependent after this sequence of operations. Now, this 110 is shared in all the modes. OK, this 110 is what? Shared in all the processors. So probably, right, since it is shared, which has to be satisfied? Satisfied by memory. So remember, only if it is modified, it is satisfied by its cache. 
rest of the cases it is by memory nothing else to be done so it is 100 so on the whole right how much we have 150 stars this is what they are given see for implementation one the first read generates 50 stars because this 50 the read is satisfied by p not cache and p1 stalls for 40 cycles and uh, 10 cycles when it write back the block back to the memory and when you take second read it reads only 100 because it has to get the data from the memory so 100 so on the whole we need 50 stalls this is for implementation one if you take implementation two simply write it just change the number this is, is going to be satisfied by the cache. So we have 130 plus for write back, it is going to be 10 only. And here it is also satisfied by memory. So this is going to be 100. So on the whole right, we have 240 stars. And for implementation one, it is going to be 150. Got it? So now uh, we'll take this and uh, we will go for uh, two more uh, scenarios. After that, you'll, you may be clear. Uh, we'll take. Um, we have this. We will take this P not read 120. Read 120. 120 is not in this case, so it is going to be a, a read miss. You know, 120 will be in block zero, and when you take here, it is in shared mode. So I told you when it is in shared mode, it is satisfied by the memory. So nothing to be done. It is satisfied by the memory. As it is in invalid state, V0 is in invalid, nothing to be done. So simply we need to read the data uh, to this place, to block zero. So probably right, we need only 100 stars. Next, read 128. And you're reading 128. Uh, see, this is in modified state here. But here we have a, a read miss because it is not having the data. So this is going to be read miss and we have this uh, in modified state so what we'll do this is going to satisfy so this is satisfied by uh, p1 cache so we will just uh, yeah this is satisfied here and at the same time what it has to be done since it is going to going to be shared mode this has to be right back to the memory so we have a right back. So how much? So 40. Since it is right back, we have 10. And third scenario, 130. So this is going to be read miss. And 130 is nowhere, no other, uh, no other cache. So this is going to be satisfied by the memory. But already in this we have M, right? So some modified. So which means only that has that exclusive data. It has to be written back. Okay. So we have to write back that data. So now write satisfied by memory. And for write back, we need 10. So on the whole, right, how much we have? 260 stars. Now you may have a question. Should we need to send an invalidate? Is it necessary? No, because no other processor is sharing 130. If something is sharing, then we can go for uh, invalidate. No other processor is having this 130, so we don't need to send an invalidate. So only right, uh, since we are replacing the block 110 with 130, we are writing right back that to the memory. So that's why I added 10 to that. Okay. So now we take other scenario. P not read 100, 
right? So this is the another set of operations. P not read hundred, so it is invalid. And again, right, this is going to be a read miss. So everywhere it is invalid. So obviously it is going to be satisfied by the memory. So we need hundred stalls. Next, P not write. One not eight. P not one not eight. Yeah, it is there. It is in shared mode. So this is going to be a right hit. And it will write the data. But since it is in shared, some other processor is also sharing it. So what it has to do? It has to send an invalidate. So for invalidate, how much? It is 15. Next, 130. The 130 is not there. This is going to be a right miss. We will go for block replacement. Can you go for block replacement? So this is satisfied by the memory. And at the same time, this has to be uh, written back. So we have a write back also. So 100 plus we need, uh, I mean, uh, extra 10 for write back. So on the whole right, we have 225 stops so similar scenario we'll take it for p1 we'll take this like p1 is the read 100 uh, uh right all p1 okay right 108 130 so p1 go to p1 it is an invalid so this is going to be a read miss so it is satisfied by the memory so here right we have 100 next read 108 so 108 is not here it is going to be a right miss since it is a it is satisfied by memory so where it has to, uh, here you just uh, carefully, uh, we need to do it. Here it has to replace this block. 108 is going to replace, but it is already in modified. So that has to be written back. So we have to do a write back. Once you do a write back, okay, this will write. I mean, this will update. 108 value will be updated to 48. And at the same time, 108 is shared by the remaining two processor. We need to invalidate. So all has to be done. So satisfied by the memory, 100, write back is 10, invalidate is 15. Moving to the third case, write 138, the same thing. It is going to be a write miss. It is satisfied by the memory. And it is going to replace the block too. So nothing to be done. Only write, we have a 100. So when you add it, so you get it 325 stops on the whole. So got it. So only like similar kind of problems you may get it. You have to do it carefully. Uh, on the next video, I will post uh, the directory based. Along with that, I will post this uh, request level parallelism. That is the data warehousing part, the second or uh, fourth, third unit. Uh, just taken by the invitation, sir. Um, only a 20 minutes video, just roughly go through that. This all is about theory only, you just go through that. And other video by me, the 10 advanced uh, advanced catch optimization, uh, you go through that also. Okay, thank you guys.